The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps and the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure is there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your ladder is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. See, we got to look our trauma in the face. We got to embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. It's forming your future. It's pushing you forward. What will your response be? Are you going to sit back or are you going to step up? That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? When you go through a storm, it strengthens you. When you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. That setback is going to become a comeback. Go through the darkness. Come out on the other side something new and allow that person to change the world. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, you got that blanket giving you a warm hug. And you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay. Telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. 
You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you gonna have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're gonna use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions, it's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting's the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment.
You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge. You'll upgrade your skills. You'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions f***ing thrive on. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing. But at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you could be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feelings. We are losing control. And it's time for those of you in this room to take control. You've held up your someday. Either you didn't get the right information or you got it, you didn't use it, you're not getting up early enough, I don't know what you're doing. But when you leave, all I want for you is to live your someday. No more playing after today. And here's the crazy part, all you got to do is look in the mirror, all you got to do is deal with yourself and then we're going to get to a whole other level. Because the only one that is stopping you is you. I need you to take control over every single area and then someday going to be your day. Excuses are for weak people. If you're going to make it happen, get your ass up and get to work. No more excuses. No more, I'll start tomorrow. No more, just this once. No more, accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more, taking the easy road. No more, waiting for the perfect moment. And no more, indecision. And no more, lies. No more, weakness. Now is the time for strength. And through strength, and through will, and through unwavering discipline, I will become who I want to be. Suffocate your bullshit excuses and go do something. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Make it work. Let's go. The decisions you make right now is up to you. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself. And by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. Because that's your life. You make your bed, you got to lay in it. Your life matters. What you do in your life matters. You were born to do something great with your life. You were put here for a reason, which is to make a difference in the world, which is to change your own family's tree, which is to do something great with your life. I promise you, you were put here for that in little ways and in big ways. And the actions of your life will echo into eternity. The question is, will that echo for you be a whisper into eternity or a roar? And you get to decide based on the actions you take every day in your life, whether the life of you, whether it had a big meaning and it roars into eternity, or whether you play small and you just whisper into eternity. 
You get to choose that. There's something in you that says, I'm not going to focus on the general economy. I want to focus on my personal economy. There's something in you that says the most dependable hand in the world is the one at the end of your wrist. There's something in you that says, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. You are different. You have greatness within you. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to, ever. No one's coming, no one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever gonna do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you gotta push yourself, you're not gonna make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and make another bad choice. And they make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act. Whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, Gotta pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. 
You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. Where does the switch come from? The overdrive. It is the thing that allows you to go the extra distance. To dig a little deeper. To push a little harder. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential. To really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. Because emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, when you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing. I don't stop. Fight weak emotions with the power of logic. Fight the weakness of logic with the power of emotion. Then in the balance of those two, you will find the strength to say to yourself, I don't stop. I didn't get to where I am. I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. You only transition from one level to the next when you tie to the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You gotta kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you gotta pick your grind up. And I need you to wake up every single day. And I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. No excuses, no more complaining, no more giving up. What's that thing that's gonna pump you up and get you over that hill? What's gonna pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's gonna pump you up and get you past that disease? What's gonna pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's gonna pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Come on, you can win! If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You got the little voices in your head. And you know what they're saying? They're saying, it's okay. You've done enough. Take a little rest. It's fine. You can take the day off. You don't need to go hard. That's what those little voices are saying. But you've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? I said you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered-down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today, yes or no? Are you going to win, yes or no? 
Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. You can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. Despite the fact if your parents in your life or not, you can win. Despite the fact that you started behind, you can win. You can pull it off. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You got to be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no dog or helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind when nobody knows what you're doing. When you put in those extra raps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music and you just get on stage and you shine, it's the process that makes you sweet. You are excellent. Now stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop taking the hand that they dealt you. Take ownership. If you can get all A's in the class, do it. You don't need nobody to give you $50, $100, no pair of shoes, take you on no trip. You a grown man. Do it because you can. Stop needing a carrot. Stop needing money. Stop needing a trip. Stop needing somebody to give you a sticker on your head. And do it for the pride of who you are. Do it because you can. I don't care what your friends are doing. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? I want you to go to the next level and not just be a champ, but show the world what a champion looks like. The powers that we have will never reveal themselves if we don't challenge them. If we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to use them, put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. And if we're honest this evening, we know that we haven't done all we can do. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. Me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earned every dime I get. I worked for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. 
You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around. But you can dictate your effort. Your dream come on you, push. And I'm not give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat it, sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the play. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I got to take it, and I got to take it to another level. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they were willing to work their f***ing ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest f***ing worker in the room. While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you'll realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and I will win. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. In life, we don't get our goals. We get our standards. You meet somebody who doesn't have self-confidence, this is someone who's perpetually not keeping promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody with pretty good baseline confidence, you've met somebody who now keeps the promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody doing superhuman things, they keep the promises they make to themselves, and they do one more. There's a power to one more. When you start stacking up those one mores, not only have you put more contacts out into the universe, but you start believing, I'm doing something most people aren't willing to do. I'm fixing to get something most people aren't gonna get. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul how hard you're willing to go after something, how much focus you're willing to put in your life, and how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not gonna outwork me, so I'm gonna catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field one season. Everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. 
I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. How many of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best. Because if you can, you're fucking lying to yourself. Your job right now and how you execute that job is going to create the success habits that you're going to need down the road. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If it's making fries, if you ain't making the best motherfucking fries every fucking time, guess what? You ain't gonna fucking make it. If you can't sweep the warehouse floor better than the next guy, you ain't gonna fucking make it. Because here's the truth. Losers always talk about how they hate to lose, but they don't do anything about it. But you know what winners do? Winners will do whatever the fuck it takes. Winners will show up and stay late every fucking day until they're winning. Winners will talk to anybody they can that can help them and take the lessons to heart and put them in play. Losers talk about hating to lose. Losers say they hate to lose. Losers talk about how they want to win. Winners do what the fuck it takes. And that means beating the next guy. If you aren't going to work at your job every day and looking at all the other motherfuckers and thinking, dude, I'm going to beat the shit out of all of you, you don't have what it takes. Winners want to be the best. Winners have pride in being dominant amongst their teammates. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. You want to know what it takes to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. It's what goes on when the cameras go off. Hard work, determination, and grit. You will not outwork me. I will get up earlier than you. I will go to sleep later than you. I will put in more hours than you. I will read more than you. I will grow. I will do whatever it takes. You got to eat it. You got to drink it. You got to sleep it. Like it has to consume who you are. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it, not talk about it. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. And people know it. You got to be it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. The stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. Michael and Kobe weren't the greatest athletes, but their mindset is what separates those individuals. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the dog on standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. We can't be complacent and we can't take our foot off the enemy's throat. We are going to be relentless. We are not going to give him the chance to regroup. He will not get the chance to recover. We are not going to stop until there is nothing left to pursue. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. Get out of bed, come here in the morning. It's going for it, or else sleep it. Put yourself in the opportunity to get that break. The more sh you throw against the wall, something will eventually stick. It doesn't stick three minutes to die. The first step in the making a dream a reality is waking the f up. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work. And I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. And I recommend that you do the same. People always say, you got to love the work. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to be addicted to what you do. You got to be addicted to winning. 
You cannot work short hours. You got to work long hours. You got to work smarter and you got to work f***ing harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You got to work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you say, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak, the grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you walk with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You walk what they paid for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one on one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrenders. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it. It has to consume you. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you. And you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to cry if you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail and I will succeed. And I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the f***ing pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a difference you guys are gonna to have to go all the f in make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork out improve out strategize outlast like never before you can't be motivated anymore you don't need others to motivate you you have to be self-motivated you have to dedicate every f***ing breath, every f***ing ounce of energy and every f***ing thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment. You're going to get a lot of hate. People are going to just diss on you. People are going to say, who do you think you are? If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. Because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude. And the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treating me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. The Eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party. Kings celebrate.
I might not be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, none of that crap, but I'll outwork your ass and I flat out want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere, it's wanting to go to the next level. You guys are entitled to sh What you're entitled to is an opportunity to show up and be your best. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig. You're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullsh! Because before it was luck. It was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. In hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You gotta look at how much you're working. You gotta look at how much effort you're making. The intention you're putting out there. You gotta go where nobody else wants to go. You gotta work the hours nobody else wants to hours. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to dominate. That you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm gonna be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's f***ing permission to be great. Only permission you need is from that mother who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard f***ing work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right f***ing now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. If you're going to make it, You've got to be willing to be an outlier. The weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your crab so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. When you are misunderstood to the point where if people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's so very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Oh. 
oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. When your life is f***ing hard and life is coming at you, you will panic and you will forget who the f*** you are. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in that f***ing sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going, you're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. If you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the time that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want. Because you expect to get it. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. If you don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worried over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you gonna look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You're going through hell? Don't stop. Keep moving. You keep on swinging and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit, shut up, and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I came to tell somebody, you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left. to run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. When you're working and you're trying to make things happen for your family, for yourself, but life keeps hitting you relentlessly when everything is telling you 
to quit what keeps you going. I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration. But if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes, yes to my dreams. Yes to me, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, the last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're gonna stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There is no mistake that you can't rebound from. There is no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight? And you either win or you die trying. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. 
You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had a. You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stay in the race less when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch? How do you handle the times when you're borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated? How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement in somebody comes right after their worst defeat. When they hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they got nothing left. Everyone's giving up on them. They're dead broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the f*** out of this hole? It's at that point when everything's lost that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you had that belief, that's so strong, that overrides the crowds and split, the adversities, anything, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds a title, that has the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe.